multiomics of HIV non-progressors reveals immunity behind AIDS evasion, a multiomic analysis led by the Ursi Kaisha AIDS Research Institute has uncovered genetic and immune mechanisms in some HIV-positive individuals, known as viremic non-progressors, VNPs, to avoid disease progression without antiretroviral therapy, since its introduction in 1987. Antiretroviral therapy has transformed human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, from a fatal disease into a manageable condition. Despite advancements in treatment, millions of people still struggle with incomplete immune recovery. DNPs are extremely rare, representing less than 0.1% of HIV-infected adults. Unlike progressors, people who experience the expected progression of HIV to AIDS, DNPs exhibit relatively stable CD4 T cell counts over extended periods without antiretroviral therapy, even when experiencing significant levels of viral replication. Understanding how VNPs maintain stable CD4 T cell counts despite high viral loads may offer new avenues for treatment. In the study, host genetic and immune factors drive evasion of HIV-1 pathogenesis in viremic non-progressors, published in the journal Med. Researchers conducted single-cell and multiomic analysis involving 16 VNPs and 29 progressors. Observations in the viremic non-progressor omics, VNPs were more likely to carry one copy of the gene CCR5 with a delta-32 deletion and one copy. Without, 53.8% heterozygosity, compared to progressors, 16. 0%. The CCR5 Delta 32 variant reduces the expression of CCR5 receptors on CD4 T cells, which HIV commonly uses to enter cells. Individuals carrying this variant exhibited lower CCR5 expression and lower rates of HIV-1 infection in their cells. Before initiating ART, DNPs showed significantly lower total and intact HIV-1 DNA levels in their peripheral blood mononuclear cells, PBMCs and various CD4 T-cell subsets. This also suggests partial protection against HIV infection at the cellular level. DNPs had higher proportions of naive CD8 T-cells and fewer activated memory CD8 T-cells when compared to progressors. Naive CD8 T-cells have not yet encountered an antigen, anything that triggers an immune response. Memory CD8 T cells are the mature version that has encountered an antigen before and create an immune response if it is re-encountered. Lower levels of apoptosis were also seen in the CD4 T cells of VNPs. By avoiding chronic immune system activation and excessive cell death, the VNPs were able to maintain a healthier functional immune system, essentially ignoring changing levels of HIV replication. Single-cell RNA sequencing revealed that VNPs exhibited widespread downregulation of interferon-stimulated genes across multiple immune cell types. Interferons are protein cells produced in response to viral infections that signal neighboring cells to heighten their antiviral defenses. This effect occurred in various immune cells, including myeloid cells, CD4 T cells, CD8 T cells, and NK, natural killer, cells. Measurements showed that VNPs had lower zonulin levels, a marker indicating gut mucosal disruption, implying better gut integrity than progressors. Metabolomic analysis revealed that VNPs had lower levels of anthranilic acid, a byproduct of tryptophan degradation linked to immune activation and CD4 T cell depletion in HIV disease progression. The research shows that by maintaining lower levels of immune system activation, DNPs avoid the detrimental effects of chronic inflammation and immune exhaustion. In turn, the preservation of immune function allows VNPs to prevent the progression from HIV to AIDS without antiretroviral therapy. In figuring out the mechanisms of natural protection in this small group of individuals, future researchers now have a successful model from which to design interventions that could restore immune function to the greater HIV community.